So it's been about six months since I built this Schwinn Latour and posted the video to YouTube. That video for my channel has done really good. I'm at 140,000 views and it's still climbing more and more every day. And by the way, thank you everybody for all the support, all the nice comments. Please keep them coming. I like to try to answer everyone I can. Recently, somebody left a comment asking how the bike is doing now. So I thought I'd take this little ride as a moment to go over some of the things I would have done differently, some of the things that have worked really well, some of the things that I've changed, and what I plan to do with the bike going forward. Let's get on the road and start talking about it. So first let's talk about what I've changed on the bike since the build. First of all, I added the front left shifter back on because it's not that I'm using it, of course. It's just I thought it was kind of ugly without the shifter and the shifter boss just hanging out there. So I went ahead and put the shifter back on and I think it looks a lot better. And the other thing I've done is I've changed the 36 tooth front round chain ring to a 38 tooth oval chain ring. I didn't really need to do that. It's just that I accidentally ordered a 38 tooth round chain ring and I thought, why not give it a try? And I have to say, other than the slightly higher gear, it's exactly the same. The other thing I recently changed is I added on one of these cheap carbon fiber AliExpress water bottle cages. And I thought it was gonna look cool, which it does. And I thought it was gonna save me weight, which it actually didn't. Surprisingly, when I weighed the two, between the old plastic one I have and this carbon fiber one, their weight is almost exactly identical. Now let's talk a little bit about what I've done on the bike. According to Strava, I'm at just about 500 kilometers now, which isn't a lot for six months, I know, but a lot of the rides have been pretty short, just five kilometers here, 10 kilometers here to the store and back, etc. Probably the most notable ride is when I took the bike up to Georgia to ride Hogpins Gap and anything else I could find up there. And that was really a great trip. The bike performed excellently and I had just enough gears to get by on that climb. But if it was any steeper or any longer any steeper, I probably would have appreciated even more gear. Now it's kind of in a rush and the quality of that video didn't turn out very good. So I didn't post it on my, on my main channel but I'll put a link below to my second channel if you really want to check that video out. Let's start off with the things that I think went really good on this bike. Well, mostly everything went good. Um, one thing that kind of su almost surprised me that's worked out really well is the rear brake adapter. I honestly haven't had to mess with it at all. It's been dead solid, no chatter, no bumping, no getting loose, nothing. I don't believe I've taken it off the entire time or even really messed with it at all. To my surprise, it's working perfectly. No problems, even on the big descent up in Georgia. Other the things that I've been happy about is the one by system and actually having the down tube shifter worked really well. You know, obviously it's not great for racing, but for the type of riding I'm doing, I've really enjoyed it. No regrets on that one. One question that comes up a lot is, how's that saddle? How's that carbon fiber saddle? And actually it's been fine. As I said before in my other video, it's okay for short rides without bike specific pants, at least for me. But if I wanna go for longer ones, more than in, let's say hour and a half, two hours, then I like to have bike specific shorts. But lately I've been riding this bike to work and back and the uh, jeans have been just fine for the 25 minute commute. It would be nice if the ride was a little bit more relaxed, meaning the handlebars weren't quite so low for everyday commuting, but it's surprising how fast you get used to it when you do it, when you ride it a lot. Now let's move on to the things that didn't go so great or I could have done better. The biggest one for sure is the paint. Now it looks good from a distance, but if you get up close, you'll see all kinds of scratches and nicks just all over it. I kind of blame all these scratches and stuff, partly on the fact I probably didn't put enough clear coat on, I didn't spend enough time prepping the primer, etc. But I was also pretty rough on the bike in general. 
putting it on the bike rack, traveling with it around, riding it to work and back, parking it at cafes, just beating it up in general. And it really shows. And it's pretty unfortunate. But uh, maybe in the future I'll give it another go or send it to powder coating, something like that. As far as the looks though and the color, totally dig it and I actually get a lot of compliments on the bike overall from just people out, out and about. But come to think of it, I think that's the only thing that I would do differently is probably get the frame powder coated rather than paint it myself. Other than that, the bikes worked absolutely perfectly. The inexpensive headset that I bought is working absolutely perfectly. I haven't had to adjust it once. Wheels have been perfect. Drivetrain has been perfect. Really, I can't complain at all. So now let's talk about what I want to do next on the bike. One easy thing I've been wanting to do is actually paint the seat post. I think it would look great in black rather than this kind of gray aluminum that it is currently. And finally, if I can find somebody who can give me a great deal on a powder coat job for the frame, I would love to take it all apart and get the same color, but in a proper nice finish. But other than that, the bike has been working perfectly. I really like it. It's probably one of my favorite bikes just because it's so simple. It's been super reliable. Everybody likes the way it looks. I like the way it looks. It's quick. It's just a nice bike to take out. Okay, I hope that answers the question of how the bike is doing now and uh, what the status is and whatnot. Just a little quick update for you guys. Hey, one other thing I wanted to mention real quick. Shinran Technology sent me this bike uh, light, front bike light called the Rover 2. I was asked to test it, give it a review, and uh, talk about it in one of my videos. So that's what I'm doing. I've been using the light quite a bit actually, off and on. And I have to say, it's an actually really good light. It's replaced my other old light, which uh, I bought several years ago. And the main benefits I'm finding with the new Rover 2 over my old light is I have more light and actually longer battery life. That partly could be because the old one I had was starting to, well, get old. But I've been real happy with the Rover 2. The only one thing I can say that I don't like so much about it is the fact that it's not water resistant or waterproof or whatever. And twice I've actually used it in the rain and, uh, and killed it. <laughs> it did eventually come back to life after many hours and hours of drying, but it's not water resistant, not waterproof. So you have to watch out for that one. One of the features I really do like about it is the fact it has a calendar on the top with the date and the time. So it's real easy just to look down and know what time it is while you're riding. Um, I'll put a link down below so you can find it if you're interested in the light. It's a pretty good light. Actually, I'll say, more than pretty good. It's the best one I've had so far. Not to say I've had a ton of experience with lights. So we'll leave it at that. What else can I say about the bike? It's actually a pretty straightforward, simple build. Simple bike. Works great. Looks nice. And I really love it. Hope you guys like it too. Hey, thanks everybody for watching. By the way, if you like this kind of video, do please subscribe. I'm gonna be posting more pretty soon. And uh, hit that like button, leave a comment. I love comments, I reply to almost every single one. So leave a comment, about 99.9% .9 chance I will reply to that. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great evening, y'all, bye.